are are we live yes so we are live hello hello everybody and welcome to an exciting friday stream where today i couldn't resist it after our last uh, little saturday stint we are going to be playing a little more creeper world 4 i had too much fun and we've got to do it again so today we're going to be playing this and i'm going to be pushing off our next part of grounded until tomorrow where i can spend a larger chunk of the day saturday practicing combat and then getting back to the lab so for now we simply head out and we fight the worlds of goop as foretold hey zelix thank you for the sub 31 months holy shit are you like is that five months right 36 is 12 times three yeah you are like five months before you're on a fucking three-year streak on subs jesus but 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 before we get into all of that i have a simple question for all of y'all how have your weeks been how are your weekend shaping up to be most importantly how are you all doing i got myself into a very weird pickle the other day so i have a oh fuck you teramon birthday for a nephew that is coming up next weekend and so i went out and i bought six cans of silly string so that the kid can you know pretend to be spider-man and ruin my sister's house and i decided to sit down and bake a couple of loaves of bread so that i can roll a bunch of gifts together and basically combo up with my sister's birthday which was the first and my nephew's birthday which is next weekend and i ended up looking up some recipes on youtube and i got an avocado bread and a coffee loaf recipe and i got excited right and so i was following the recipes and i fucked up somewhere i don't know where exactly and i ended up with five loaves of bread <laughs> Luckily, I was able to pretty quickly, pretty quickly pawn them off to some of my neighbors. So now I have one loaf of avocado bread, one loaf of coffee loaf that I'm able to just bring to the party next weekend. But I was just at the end just staring at all these loaves of bread just like, how the fuck did I do this? How did this happen? Why is there so much bread here? However, I think I think I might have made a mistake now pawning off like three loaves of bread to my neighbors <laughs> because it was like five minutes before I started streaming. I started getting some messages on Discord and they're like, hi, we're your neighbors and we were uh, we're about to head out to go see Deadpool. We wanted to know if you wanted to come join with us. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Man, I, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough just because I know so much of my weekends tends to be scheduled out for shit. And now it's going to feel so probably weird for them because like one of their neighbor randomly shows up, hands them a bunch of home baked goods. And then it's like, yeah, sorry, I'm busy streaming and playing video games tonight. Fuck you, nerds. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. But I'm I'm certain I'm certain this is this is this bread thing is going to spiral fucking out of control. Not to mention it's really the season of baking for me because I've been looking around and it looks like the blackberries are basically ready to start getting picked. So that means probably next weekend I'm going to end up going out some evenings picking blackberries. And I'm going to have too many blackberries, just like last year. And the best way I have found to get through a lot of blackberries is to make blackberry pie. So I'm going to end up making blackberry pie, and then I'm probably going to have too much pie. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. And I am I know, I fucking know now, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up giving it to the neighbors again. And, oh man. 
just set myself up. I'm just setting myself up here. But how about y'all? How have y'all's weeks been? How are your weekends shaping up to be? And most importantly, how are you all doing? So I am encountering something weird where... Are y'all hearing game audio? One second. Because I'm looking... I'm looking at this. I have a sound capture thing that says it's looking for Creeper World 4, but it's not picking anything up. However, I think if I turn on the desktop audio capture, is that picking up game audio now? Yeah, so there's something about the the game audio capture that isn't working. One sec, I'm gonna try one more swap. Because I can't have the full desktop audio coming through, because that's just gonna set me up for absolutely horrific things. Audio, audio output, audio. So default, no, none of that'll work. Shit. Yeah, so I don't know if there's gonna be a way. Hey, son, how you doing? that I can actually capture this without using desktop audio. I don't want to avoid desktop audio, because if I run desktop audio, I don't think I can do song request. But you know what? One second. I just gotta see. One second. I gotta see if this is gonna accidentally pick up the wrong audio there as well. So if I just... Yeah, so desktop audio is going to pick up my song request audio. And so it's going to, like, double... Right? Because if I turn this on... Uh, I don't know. We'll try it. I'll need y'all to tell me if this starts getting too loud or whatnot. Because I'm, I'm partially convinced it's going to end up being a problem. All right, all right. But let's hear what else. What else have I been getting up to? Um, let's hear shit on Twitter. What's going on? Oh yeah. So apparently there was VTuber drama recently on Twitter. I do not follow the right people on Twitter. I think because I'm always just hanging out on Twitter, and then I just I, the only things I ever see are messages from people that are like, I'm not going to be engaging with the Twitter drama around VTubers this time. I think that you can pick whatever design you want to pick. And I'm always like, God damn it. God damn it. Why do all of my fucking sources of information have to be so like, I don't want to be about, I just want to know what it is, but I can't comment on the, I'm not getting involved shit with like, okay, but um, quick question. What, what is the drama? Like what? Ah, hmm. oh, I'm so curious. So it sounds like, from what I've been able to pick up, there are people that are accusing people of copying each other's designs or some shit. And I don't know. I guess I guess that that's gotta happen in VTubing, right? And I don't know. It's hard to know if they're talking about like really intentional shit, accidental shit. Cause like I know, for example, there's like six or so relatively popular moth vtubers and while i'm sure they could all be extremely unique from each other there's a few elements of being like a moth girl that's going to repeat itself across all the different design options but since i don't know what actually started the drama about this around vtubers i don't know if they're just talking about like generic human designs because like if you're getting a lot of really similar people designs that's probably a problem but if there's just a lot of people picking the same bugs, you know, not as much of a problem. Last thing I heard of a VTuber copying was Lily being copied like a month or two ago. You see, I don't even know who the fuck Lily is. I think, I think there needs to be a day. Okay, 
So, chat, hey, all of you, V, Zelix, Sun, Prismatic, fucking Sour, if you're still out there, like, y'all watch Shine Lily. Oh, the Orca. Got it. Yeah, I have a visual in my head now. I need an actual recommendation from y'all. It has come to my attention that I eventually need to study, I think. I think I need to do some homework. And I'm wondering, y'all watch VTubers, example me, and the fact that y'all know even that much of what's going on. Is there, like, a six-hour YouTube video that's, like, the full history of VTubers that I can just do a quick, like, catch me up sort of a like a study session here sort of a thing like i feel like i need to do something to catch up on the vtuber lore because i'm constantly hearing shit that's like oh yeah niji sanji is good or bad or as these people or not those people graduation and all this shit. i think i think i need to take a crash course I need, I need some sort of a resource that I could just sit down because for as long as I've been a VTuber, I think I know much less than I should know at this point. I think I'm very undereducated within, within my own realm of entertainment, which might lead me into problems eventually. And it seems like it'd probably be an important thing for me to research before going to the next TwitchCon. <laughs> Oh shit. So just, just let me know if any of you know a good a good like a good resource I could go to that'll help me uh catch up on the whole history of things, yeah? Fair? Would appreciate it. Alright. But last time now we were playing Reaper World 4, we played Shatter, this is the one that introduced the Porter to us. And I did the suicidal meat wave attack directly on the uh, the emitter. So now we are moving on to Archon. I have no clue even what the thing for Archon is. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Fucking sure, hell yeah, let's go. Oh. ADA status, 42 consecutive. Unscheduled reboots. Halted. Operator. Required. I bought this game last weekend because I enjoyed watching you play it, and Steam had a fucking tower defense sale that Monday. No, I'm sorry, Zelix. Zelix, no! Oh, I'm sorry. No, okay, I gotta let you guys know. I have to let you know. I need one of these fucking games I play to fucking sponsor me. Because, if any of y'all remember, there have been times I've played multiplayer games with y'all. And when I do that, because I'm incompetent, and dumb, and also stupid, I end up just friending all of you on Steam, and then inviting you in, right? And then I just play with y'all. And then I just remain your friend on Steam. So I see things from time to time coming from all of you. I see things like, the day after I stream a game, I get a notification that three or four of my friends on Steam have now bought and are playing that game. You fuckers! So, we aren't friends, right? I have no clue, Little Pink. I'd have to dig through the list. I just see it occasionally. And it's every time I see that two to three of you have bought a game after I've shown it, I'm always like, God fucking damn it! I didn't get paid for this shit! Uh, did you know that you can, I assume now, hide that kind of stuff as of last month? I don't know, I've always been on invisible mode ever since I started streaming, so no fucking clue about, like, this, this new update Steam's apparently doing. So, sorry, sorry. I just, I just had to talk about that because he mentioned, no, but Zelix mentioned getting this game and playing it. And I fully support it. I've been loving this game since I've started it up. And I'm on my way to basically getting all the achievements on it, having it perfected. But 
Hey. Priority notification. Rain world detected. Extreme threat. Power energy generation offline due to local interference. Mission priority. Lead world. All other priorities suspended. There's another streamer that I used to watch that is on my friends list from a multiplayer thing. I swear he has done YouTube videos on so many random games that I was playing like in a row. Damn. No, oh, the craziest shit happened today. I'm sorry, I'm just getting so distracted. All right, this is my last side tangent that we're gonna focus. I'm gonna do this level and we're gonna do at least one whole level of this game without me going off on a tangent. But today I was at work, right? And my phone gets like the series of pings. Like I just feel it vibrating on the table, but I'm at work and I'm like, God, what the fuck is happening? I pick up my phone. I go to my notifications. I've got like four notifications from Twitter. And I'm like, what? And I look at it and I see that I got a like, a retweet, a follow, a like, a follow, and a like. And I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? I went and looked into it, and apparently there was someone. Let's see if I can find the OG. So there is someone called either Hiri or Hiri. I don't know. They It's spelled H-E-I-R-I. -I, so I don't know if the E-I is going with the E sound or the I sound. I know if it's German or English, essentially. I'm going to go with Hiri, who was like real talk. Where are the VTubers that are like giraffes, apes, monkeys, anteaters, hippos, narwhals, fish, or bug types? And I'm like, first of all, Harry? You think it's Harry? And I'm just in my head, like, first of all, the only VTubers I know are fucking animals. I don't know of any VTubers that are just like a person, you know? And I was immediately replied to by someone called Mortis, who goes, hell, I want a tardigrade VTuber. And then immediately, a third uninvolved person retweets the video I made like three weeks ago with my friend Richard. That's like my intro video that I have pinned on my Twitter. And they're like, the prophecy has been fulfilled. And I just had to reply, what the fuck? And I ended up redirecting them to Anaise, if y'all remember her. And I don't know. It was just a bunch of people that are like, why aren't there any fucking tardy grade VTubers who discovered me? And I blew their minds by going, yeah, no, I know like six tardy grade VTubers here. Here, have some fun. And it was just the funniest shit. Uh, EI in Latin languages is an A usually. In English, however, I think the EI makes an E sound. And then in German, EI is an I sound. I'm pretty sure. I might have English and German mixed up, but I know those languages do some fucked up shit anyway. Okay, put a link for the VTuber news guy in the Discord. Thank you, V. What, do I just do a reaction stream one day of Eric learns what VTuber is? English is not consistent. Here's what I'll say. English adopts from a lot of different languages, so there are a lot of different things we end up pulling in. For words that are quote unquote English in origin, like are mostly have cropped up from within the language and aren't a direct borrow, that tends to be what happens. The EI makes the E sound. Whereas in German, EI should always make like the I sound, you know? All right. Y'all hang around the same bit of algae. Exactly. Like, I only know about, like, bugs and v and dirty grade VTubers, which is the funniest shit to me. I definitely know my, my view of VTubers is skewed to hell. Because I'm, like, reading people going, like, dang, why aren't there, like, more, like, bug and, and animal and tardy grade VTubers? And I'm over here, like, I thought that's all there were. But no, what did it? What did it? What really made me realize it? is if you ever want to just be blown away, since we're already on the tangent, uh, what was it? Earlier today, something was trending. What was it? It was like VTube versus IRL or IRL V... Oh, fuck. One second. IRL versus VTuber. Right? Holy shit. One second. One second. Nah. Yeah. We're already completely off the topic of the game we're going to play. 
So, I'm just going to finish off this tangent fully, so I can't be distracted at all, right? So, it was IRL versus VTuber, right? Where people, like, show a picture of themselves next to their VTuber model. At least that's what I thought that would be. That's what my assumption was. That's what I would be doing. If I was fucking doing... Let's see here. Wait. They're capturing a different... Oh, yeah. That was just the trending tab. One second. This is right. Yeah, this one's right. So, what I assume is we're going to get... Yeah, you see this person? We're going to get a picture of the person. And then we see a picture of their VTube model. There was something I noticed, though, when I was looking at this. First of all, almost all the people... Like, half. Half of everybody who was doing it is doing the face cover thing. Like, what this phone's doing. And it's like, fair enough. If you're doing a VTuber, there's certainly a level of shyness. There's a desire to, like, conceal your actual identity. I know. Like, I kind of get that. But what blew me away was what 90% of the IRL v VTuber pictures were. Because they weren't pictures of someone IRL even covering their face compared to their model. It's the thing with pit crew? Is that what it is? Is okay, love this. Whatever I this is the right way to do it in my opinion. <laughs> but it's all like It's all... I don't know which one of these is the IRL and which one is the VTube model. I'm going to guess the red eyes is your VTube model. You don't generally see that in real life. But also with contacts... I... Pointy ears, I guess, gives it away here. Which one of these is IRL and which one of these is the VTuber? Tell me. I don't know. I ended up scrolling down this. And that was the first thing that I was like, why is it all just this one art style of definitely not a real person against also not a real person, you know? And it was only when I was like halfway scrolling through this, when I was realizing it was like a 90% just this Thing, whatever this art style is someone says pick crew i don't know what that is i'm going to assume it's like the application or style or something that's making these photos it was only after i'd been scrolling like going is there at least like six people here actually doing a real photo of themselves that i realized pick crew is a site that basically has a lot of dress up doll kind of things oh, okay but it was only like when I'd been scrolling for five minutes down this list that I eventually went, wait a second. All of these VTubes, no matter which side I'm looking on, is just like a person. <laughs> and I realized I have a really skewed perception of what VTubing is. Because I was just floored. I was floored by how many of these is like... An idol or an elf, essentially, is what the design is. I don't know. I just really always had the impression everybody was like part animal, part bug, part fucking inanimate boat object, you know? All right. Enough of the tangent. End of the game. End of the game. I'm, I'm just fucking out here being baffled and slowly learning. And uh, let's hear who was it who posted in the Discord? One second. One second. V, V, thank you for sending me a way to catch up and learn more. This is definitely, I definitely need to learn more about the VTubing space, essentially. Now that I've been doing it for three years, I think it's time I learn a little bit more about the space. A lot, especially in Japanese, are very human. The animal-themed ones are Western. Is that just... I gotta see, I gotta see if I can find that image again. Because there's the image of the uh, League of Legends characters. 
most like what was it west versus east i just need to fucking keep that tab to somewhere that's your save image pictures save it as lol there we go Uh, lol. Right, here we go. Because this is, this is just an image I think about a lot. It's just an image I think about a lot. Where it was just like the most liked characters in North America versus, Ch versus China. And... God, I can't even remember how this is organized, because me being American English speaker, I think I'm trying to read it from, like, top to bottom, left to right, but I'm pretty sure these are in columns. But I don't remember where the actual start and end point is. But still, it was just the funniest shit when I looked at this, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, we got Swain. I like Swain. Oh, we got Thresh. He's pretty cool. We got the serial killer Jin up there. We got the monstrous Warwick. We got the embodiments of death. We've got a dragon, the demon ninja. We've got Brom. You know, like we've got this weird mismatch of all this different shit. <laughs> On China side, it was just people. Oh, my. Do they even have someone on here who's like Bashtaya? Yeah, so we've got Ari and... Wow, it's actually been too long. I forgot what Feather Girl's name is. Zaya? That doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. Zaya. It is Zaya. Okay. Weird. Yeah, so we have Ari and Zaya, and I think as the only technically not Jana technically is also Zaya and Rakan. Okay, okay. Pick crew okay, let's see. A specific one isn't even one of the better ones. Is there little to choose from? Yeah. There's more of a recent drama, so not great for a history lesson. Fuck! Damn it! Come on, there's gotta be someone there's gotta be someone out there that like does the history of VTubing, like starting just before the uh the pandemic right because wasn't everything exploded after the pandemic uh i'll do some research on my own then see if i can find a great resource maybe one day we'll do a fucking reaction channel stream day where i'm just watching and learning and we can all learn the full history of vtubing Zaya is also regarded as boring too listen no matter what more interesting than a lot of the other is just a person characters She's got some vibe to her little... Th she has some vibe. She, there's not a lot of spice going on here. Like, this is like... It's not even black pepper. It's white pepper on here. It's not a lot of spice, but it's something, you know? It's way before... I mean, I know it technically is, like, way before that. But if you could even capture from, like... Capture what the state was before the pandemic. Then cover the history of, like, what happened during the pandemic and then go up to kind of the current status, I feel like you would get a really strong overview of, like, the history of VTubing, at least within, like, the Twitch space. Because obviously there's the ones who, like, were before it. And, I mean, there was also a bit of, what, Hatsune Miku inspiration, technically, would be maybe the earliest sort of inspiration form. You could go for, like, down the, the DNA of VTubing, but, you know. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know. I'm, I'm just tangential today. I don't know what's up. I'm just, I'm just all over the place. Melody was on porn sites exclusively. I do remember there was a, there was, what was it, right? Project Melody was announced as going on OnlyFans at one point. I remember this because there was an explosion of internet level drama of I think OnlyFans were like like people who made content on OnlyFans not wanting like a digital 
character on the site because it would out compete or something i don't know that 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 shit was she was on x2 Ooh, fair fair she'd probably be the earliest western side yeah probably to some degree probably okay in game blah 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 rain world tower energy generations apparently not working okay i have to agree with our aggressive friend, we should leave this world quickly. At least we have some common ground of agreement. There is that. Leave now, traveler. Founders, hear these words. Help we need. Time of need is now. My brothers agree, am I too? Leave. Founders, hear our need. Or at least that I know of, not even joking, Mario. And like 96, 98, E3 with Charles Martin <laughs> using it live. Fair enough, fair enough. That'd be an interesting gimmick thing. So what do we got? This thing is why energy production that's offline, nullify it, might restore production. Buried info cache. What do we have here? We have collector. What? So we need to nullify this. We have mining. Oh, they're not going to let me land right on it. All right. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. So we've got... What is this? Okay. So if I position here, I'm on two reds, that, and whatever these panels are. We're relatively close to the mining so we'll try to rematerialize there we need to get over to the mining pretty quickly to set up some uh, energy production i don't know what these are because all i can read is collector but they look like solar panels right so part of me wants to say they produce energy but i don't know Yeah, so we're fully not getting energy. So we'll try to rush out some towers. Then we need mining. And we want to take up fucking every inch of this. This is going to be our only, like, energy production source. Until we can get that nullified. And it's a spore launcher here. So I think we only have two spore launchers. No, like, emitters. So we don't have to worry about a flood right away. We always get a warning before it gets sent. All right, we're going to unpause. And while there's a bunch I... Are we in a bubble? All right, we appear to be in a bubble. Oh, can we not set up a nullifier that can hit both of these? Damn. Okay, I'm going to place this. I know it's not connected to anything yet, but I just want to basically be ready to go. Um, We're going to need missiles. We have red coming in. We'll need a factory, but I can't rush out anything until we get these up and running. So I'm not going to distract it from getting those mines set up. Let's see what oh hello that's not good oh right they called it a rain world yikes So, I'm going to be, like, fully in trouble here. Also, one second. I'm getting no audio at all. All right, there we go. Huh. 
So we're in a bubble. We have this info cache over here. So maybe that's where I need to actually start? So we'll set this up. We'll try to do that. Ugh, maybe I do... Maybe I need to get a factory up as well. Might as well. We're, we're farming some red. So if we get those up, we can at least make a missile launcher to defend us in case... Right? In case these uh, things start trying to send spores at us. We're safe from the rain, although obviously we don't have any power production. Yeah, the factory doesn't seem to be taking a ton of energy. I'm just gonna slowly get things set up and then terraform. Oh shoot, do I bring this down to three? We'll start at three, see if that's... Cause I don't know what our actual current height is, you know? I still don't know what the fuck these are. It's definitely digging down. Two? I don't know, because, right, because zero should be whatever the bottom is. We're up one, two, three, maybe? Maybe we're three levels up instead of two. I don't know. All right, seems like we can reach into there now. Uh, we just got the warning that these are going, but we have a bunch of red and we have a mi Oh, hello there. Archon Subsystem Shield V1.1 use... Passive defense against Creeper. Ruling council regulations approved for use only by council members in good standing. All counts, all council dues must be fully paid and up to date. Use forbidden within 25 yarsec of council chairman residence. No more than two shields to be concurrent use without the express written consent of local council liaison. Failure to comply with regulations may result in suspension of council members. <laughs> right on! This council's unknown to me, but each their own. Shield technology's perfect for our journey. Nobody has to get hurt. And we show our true peaceful intents. Each shield needs our. So, better get a factory up and running. Go in peace, traveler. Okay, so... Special... Shield? So can I be build the shield in goo? No. So we've got to what? Push out? So if I build the shield, we also need R. Which is R? I don't know which is which. Uh, yeah, so red is R. Okay. We have quite a lot of that. So if we move our turret forward, we should be able to start clearing out the mining space now. Okay, so we're gonna use the shield to what? Carve a line? Yeah, so we're gonna need to do a line up here and over here. Like, we've got tons of arg, at least. I might have ourselves build a tower over to have a little bit more red in... Oh. Red income. Okay, we're gonna push up here now. And we're gonna start getting a few of these mines up and running. It's not going to be perfect efficiency, especially with this built on top. Anything we can get to get just a little bit. I think first line of order is getting over to 
this to nullify it so that our uh, towers can come back online. So as soon as we get these, we'll get a little more energy income. All right, we're looking good, so I'm going to turn one of these to blue. I keep other two on energy. And then the whole time that's going, we're also going to just set up our little place, our, what is it? The urn port. Just so we can make sure that, since there's been a, quite a few of these, we've got... We could start making use of this, both for energy production and mining. Oh, shit. Okay, we might have just enough energy on hand now to get a second turret to help us clear this a little quicker. And we're going to move this over here to start digging up these as well. Okay, looks like we are set up to start nullifying... Build that. No, that's not quite enough. Can I get close enough to both finish the mine? Okay, if I have these turrets push up and defend right there, we should be able to unlock the mining and nullifying this at the same time with one shield generator. Okay, set that up. Towers just to cover more air. Ow, oh, right. Well, that timing's obnoxious. Okay, come on, we just need this set up. That is. Hey, we've got power now. Going crazy with the power generation. Time to fully catch up. And now that we've got all that coming in, we can swap everything over to blue white. Yep, we are still above our positives. And we can get a nullifier out. Cool. What does that leave for possible threats? I think we only have one more. Yeah. So we only have one spore launcher over there. Since this is a spore launcher, I should also make a second missile launcher. No, let's just have a total of three of these. I should basically be able to move those around to cover everything we need. And we can set up even more mining. I think that's going to get killed right away, but I'm going to just set it up. Let's see? Let's go. You can build a tower to put a sniper on it if you want. That's true. But do we want a sniper for anything? Can we snipe the rain? Hold up. this was um oh yeah and i was digging all this up uh where is you is here you start getting us mine production energy fire rate and we'll go for fire range after that okay that seems to be all we can clear out right now so now we just gotta look at a lot of stuff has eggs next to it yeah we need to clear this uh so we might as well get the shield set up here Damn it. Okay. That'll get us space. Oh, and we could start pre-building for clearing now. Let's prep an army. We do have blue eyed, so I could actually do sprayers instead. I don't know what's the actual difference between sprayers and like cannons for this. I guess I've never flipped like I know sprayers will leave like goo behind in low ground. Which could be useful, but. I don't know, I'm not 100% on whether I should use cannons or sprayers. Uh, 
We also have a little bit of energy ground we can use up here. Yeah, I know that I know what they literally do, little thing, that they should be anti creep. What I'm saying is for function. I don't know which I should be targeting, you know? Like when do I want to be spraying anti creep versus killing the creep, you know? Okay, so that seems to be what five is. We want up at least two. Try eight. What died where? Oh, they took out another mine. So that makes it look like blue eye. For what we have left, we're not really using anti creep for anything, so that's fine. And we wanted to try a sniper once this is done. If creep is being launched at you, it can prevent your structures from. Oh, so that way you can submerge structures in the anti creep to buy yourself even more time. Understood. Okay. So they're more of a time buyer than an actual clearer. So it's more defensive than aggressive. Got it. Unfortunately, I like being... Ooh, wait. We have more infomercials. All right, I see where we're pushing then. all those we got most of them can we get fire rate or do i not have oh right i moved you we'll be back and honestly i think i built the second one because this this seems to be wanting to do a lot of perfect stuff oh wait the sniper is shooting the rain Hold up. Wait, we can shoot the rain? It's nice to put one in your base that you don't have to pay attention as you clear them out. Fair enough, but I almost never actually have my real base fucking under threat. Admittedly, they took shit out here, but I was also already most prepped for that. Interesting. All right, did we dig all those up? We did, we'll get fire rate. More. Um, do I care about move speed? No, maybe we'll hold on to that. Boom! I know what we'll do because... Oh shit, I didn't pay attention to, to energy routes. Okay, that's on me. It's been a while though, so I'm going to get ourselves a fun turret. Power turret. Fully dig this out. Since all that got dug out, we're gonna move you over here to help. Make this nice and quick. What are we doing? Ooh, I'm on an energy deficit. Bit of a rough one, too. We're gonna do this, so I'm not really using a lot of anti creep bullets. We can also swap off a of blue light for a little bit. We'll keep one of them running, just in case gonna knock everything else over the energy. Am I able to get into this yet? I can't. Damn. Your nullifier got destroyed. Oh! Oh! Is my nullifier inside the shield though? Data analyzer initiated analysis of data record follows. Chrono dating indicates the age of standard Earth years. Ooh. Experiments with shielding seem to have been successful. I have the highest hopes that the Council will see fit to introduce this technology on a larger scale. The war against Creeper was waged for over seven cycles now, and we lose ground each day. 
The Archon conglomerate once counted over 100,000 member worlds among its ranks. Now we have maybe a few thousand left. Among those, there are several hundred with active creeper invasions, and on each, well, as we have seen, no world has ever successfully repelled a creeper invasion. This world of Nitram has remained untouched so far, but I fear this will not last. When Creeper does come, I will bury our records deep underground. I have reason to believe that after Creeper scrubs this world, a few artifacts underground might survive. If you are reading this, I hope you have somehow found a way to counter the Creeper. Remember us, and rebuild. We built the sniper, all the eggs got yeah. so, We are popping eggs, that's true. I'm gonna just have up order to like do a little bit of deeper. Okay. Come over here, activate all these totems. I guess. What energy we can produce over here. Uh, are we still yeah, we're still pretty aggressively deficit over there. So I do imagine if I pull these back and no longer consuming energy. I think that'll help a bit. I still don't know what these are. Oh well. All right. So, what are we doing? I could go to the green, try to get these totems. But I mean, how do I not go for full reclamation? You know? Like, what am I, a coward? doing an aggressive push towards this enemy and get it nullified. I don't know. Our ARG is staying relatively high, so I imagine we're doing a good job sticking to this. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to push forward and then do the shield. I think. forward clear a little bit of space set up a shield oh I'm very easy have a good stream good night Tara Alright, so... I'm gonna want 
snipers now for rain. And I'm going to go ahead and build a line of mortars. Like, our overproduction isn't massive, but the more ground we get, the more rain we mine. So... Forward. Get our next tower. The next tower, we get our next shield. That's up, we should be able to nullify without threat. There we go. Alright, we got our beeline set up. Lost a little bit of tower there. Pull you back a bit. Realize how outside the shield I was building. Start like loosening things up in the direction of the green. anything that's not covered by missile defense. We should be good. Now here might not, but we also don't have a direct in here, so even if this hits, yeah, it's just some goo we clear out. That's enough to keep the rain from actually taking this out. So admittedly, we should set up at least one shield cannon to put a refinery in.
keep getting sniped or whatever. That should be like the easiest defense to say. Location generally to push from. Anywhere else easy for us to push from. Yes, here will let us clear out two areas relatively safe. Alright. See if this sort of a uh, just minor expansion will get us the last one. Five percent we need. Alright, we're a little bit negative on the use, but that immediately jumped us up to 99. Keep playing. Wait, wait. Didn't actually finish the charge. Hold up. Hold up. Clicked. I clicked up here and that counted as clicking here. Come on. Hold that. Hold it. Hold. And. Oh shit, we losing shit. Damn, what happened there? I wonder if we'll keep it. No! What? Offline, so we lost enough power that the nullifier went down. Ah. Interesting. Hey, thank you for the gold star. Hey, we succeeded. I was just gonna do the, the jump for a little bit extra. Now, one sec, I need to take a sniff of this because for the thumbnail I'm working on. I don't have these goddamn planets because they don't show you the planets. I leave it as question marks. Let's see, file open. Creep up. Aw, oh, yeah. Sound like you failed? No, I'd, I'd still succeeded. I was just pushing for extra, essentially. Okay, that's good. We'll cut out the experiment. Select invert. Delete. Alright, and then I can get to that later. So layer, drop to select, nope. 
Layer crop to content. There we go. If y'all want to see what I'm doing, one second. What will this be? This will be in non-game captures. I can do the uh, creep up. Oh yeah. So I was having to think where this thumbnail I was making. Unfortunately, the only place I could like capture the image from either had all of the planets green with all the different like symbols and everything over top of all of them. So the only way to actually get a picture of just the planet with its name is for it to be in the uh, this not yet done state. So I just got to remember to grab a snip in between each time so I can quickly pop back over, drop it off here, you know, like this. And then we can, you know, obviously come in and do some quick edits afterwards, and then we'll have all of these, uh... Eh, gross. Eh, gross. There we go. Nice. And we were able to slot these in a lot easier. Oh, the green line and the gray line aren't actually lining up here. Ah, doesn't matter. We don't need to do this now. We do this later when I update the thumbnail. But that's Archon. Fucking nailed it. The experiment. This world was used for some massive scale experimentation. Yeah, just look at that shit. I'm hyped. All right, let's go. Ah. ADA status halted. Operator required. Home. We have returned home. Runway acquired and integrated. Experimental weapons may prove useful. Mission priority, nullification, all other priorities suspended. I think I might cry. Our aggressive friend has a home. But of course everyone does. Whatever strange place you might find yourself in, someone else calls it home. Go in peace, traveler. Strange wonders on this world! Existing runways that was not taken by Creeper. Device to make urns! Technology thought on the thing! I adapt bomber technology from the time before to the time of now. Used with a runway, the founders surely guide our path. Praise be the founders! Thanks, Preacher. Bombers? Air. What? Oh, we have bombers, I guess. Well, then, um. That's very interesting. Huh. Mm okay. Okay. Well, we're certainly gonna be thinking about that quite a bit. All right, we're just gonna set up a bunch of towers first. Just, you know, get everything. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck you are. All right. Make sure we fill out all the energy opportunities. We have some red over here. We're gonna secure that. We also have some red over here. We're gonna secure those. That also means we should set up a factory likely and some AA as quick as possible. Um. Cool. Yeah, let's fucking go up right here. We get a factory set up to process all that red. We'll get missiles for defense. And then we'll just have to see what else is fucking going on on this planet. What do we got? We got a blob nest, so we'll actually need some snipers relatively quickly. Um, with missile defense, we should be good from everything else. We have a data core out here we should consider racing to. We have some greens. We can make Liftic. We've got Totem. 
totem. Things are already spewing out. All right, got it. Let us go and build too many things. Oh, we also start with a bunch of energy for free. Fuck yeah. Consume that. Yeah, I definitely queued up too many things, but, you know, who can resist fucking energy? We got red coming in. All of our mines are, like, starting now. It's going to give us just a spike in energy that we could swap over to blue. Uh, and we can build bombers? I don't know how they work. But we'll queue a bunch of them up. We're getting a bunch of red, and it's getting processed already. So we've got two snipers. Maybe I should build more snipers just in case. So we'll build a sniper on the sides as well. Oh wait, and we've got stuff coming in. So get turret, turret. We're just gonna put one turret, I think, along each major vein. But we're on, like, some high ground, technically, so we should be able to hold on to that with relatively low investment. Okay, we're above positive energy, though we're not making any blue. I'm going to set two of these to blue-white. We're not using blue-white yet for anything, and we might not end up doing it. But still, might as well build up the stockpile. So I have a bomber. Okay, show me what you got then. Okay. Cool. Is this better than mortar somehow? Like visually, sure, definitely. Easily better than mortar, but... Is this like a lower energy investment for high value, maybe, compared to mortar? We'll build up some defensive mortars just to hold on with. Um, we'll set a bunch of bombers to go. Oh, shit. Oh, is that already... Oh, that's already coming up and over. Hi. Set up just along the paths I was seeing. All right. Gonna get this set up. Gonna get another. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did not set up enough turrets. Alright, this might be an immediate restart, honestly. So our base is getting a little threatened. I could pull you back. Did I misinterpret? No, we are on high ground. I guess it just flooded too quickly here. Yeah, I think that's going to be a restart. Alright, so, couple of potential mistakes. I did try to rush a ton of shit right away. But we got most of it out, honestly. So, uh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do the exact same mistake. Because I'm addicted to rushing out energy. It's, uh, it's my main weakness. We start with a lot of surplus energy, so we can actually crank it out pretty crazy and easily. Let's get all these set up. Cool. And oh, we also have over here we can go. Do I rush the bombers? We still need point defense no matter what, so maybe bombers aren't the rush goal. I did, like, set up two lines of bombers, which was probably a mistake. Who are these towers going to prevent some bombers? Some, but we still have this whole row that we can go down still. Uh, how many are just a pool? We've got one, two, three, four pools. So we will go one, two, three, four. Try to get ahead of those pools. 
I am still going to mine like crazy. Ah, shit. That's wrong. Wrong positioning. Can't do that. Loss of efficiency. And we just won't turn anything to blueite until we're set up in our position, since I'm not going to be using sprayers anyway. Okay. Set up there. You'll still need the factory. Those three snipers should keep us pretty much protected. Two missile launchers should keep us protected enough. Then we'll need to do a lot more on the side of cannons, but we'll do that building once all of this is set up. Even though we've got this rush energy we're able to do still. And what is this? Urns Forge. Make urns from Arg. Is Arg red? Yeah, I think Arg is red, right? Yeah. Oh, so we're going to make urns. And then we can use that to upgrade our turrets later on as well. All right, let's get this going. All this slowly getting set up. When the bombers are in, we'll have them bomb. It's kind of these, like, thick pools, essentially. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. 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 Okay. This is going to be a big energy commitment, but we're not concerned about the blue stuff this time. But we're concerned about this blue stuff, just not the anti creep blue stuff. So we're not going to turn any of our mines over. We're going to leave them all on energy. It still works to set a small deficit, but... It's all looking pretty good. Yeah, we're no longer at a deficit. That's good. So I'm going to get the urn port thing set up as well. That way, whenever this gets produced, we can immediately turn that into more energy production. We could go for mining, but I think this is the first time I'm going to do energy production first. Ooh, and those are actually not shooting yet. So we're going to go for some mortars to get us some earlier shots into all of this. Oh, bombers are ready. One bomber here. One bomber here. Can we all do this along the path? Yeah, we'll try sending these along the paths now instead of like at the at the pools, even though the source would be great to take out. Just having them buy a bit more time is also very good. Start building some more bombers as well. All right, uh, we are gonna get a mortar over here. Go for a spray. Nah, we'll just go for a couple of mortars over on this side. Obviously, we're not bombing this, so maybe this is our first push direction. So we're going to prep a pushing line here. And we're going to look to, I think, push into this emitter and try to take this emitter out quickly so that we can focus energy in other directions. We could also look at doing the same thing, like taking out the two lines so we can focus more and more of our defenses into, like, forward facing. We did just get a ping, so we're about to get some form of aerial attack. We have enough ARG coming in. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and grab for energy production. We'll go mining after that. And then maybe rate of fire or range. I'm not sure which would actually be more. We're gonna set two bombers to start hitting this. Two bombers start hitting this. No 
gonna take out a couple more sources. There we go. Just have the creep pushing on that. Y'all been assigned? Anyone ain't assigned? There's enough targeting us. We should be good, but I'm going to go ahead and build a couple extra defensive structures just to make sure we're not getting overwhelmed by anything. So that seems good. So we're going to get fire rate and then mining after that. Like right now, they're sending enough shit at us that I'm a little concerned about defenses, so we're going to go for fire rate first. Time to send in the advance. I'm gonna also look at terraforming. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You two hold this side. Push the mortars up. better lines of fire turrets on like shooting down the level. So now we've kind of established some homeostasis here. Push all of our normal cannons onto the low ground. Start doing our creep in advance. Info cache, we've got lithic here. And since we won't have any lithic, we won't actually be able to activate that totem, but still. We'll need to defend anything we build over here, like nullifiers or what happens. So we'll also need snipers and missile towers out this way, but. Be relatively quick for us to establish a defensive structure here. We're gonna have this bomber now move over to this pool. We're just gonna hold this position. Build our totem up here. Another tower, and then we're gonna need a sniper. Oh, wait, is that totem in the wrong spot? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna take that out. God, you're moving too slow. All right, here we go. Bad timing, bad timing all around, but I think no punishment. As soon as these are established, everything should roll just fine here. All right, we're good. So we're gonna set up missile and sniper. And finally. Nullifier. Once that nullifier is established too, this all should clear out. I'm gonna bring over a mortar kind of clear out anything we can't see. Oh, that timing. We haven't got the sniper set up yet. All right, sniper's here now. We'll put the mortar to where that turret just was. We also need the missiles. Shoot. God, I fucked up all of the towers over here, so nothing got built. Build nullifier set up and getting charged. 
We have the missile defense soon. Set our turrets to either side just to clear up the immediate threats to our main connector. Nullify the bolt. And then move the mortar over here so I can clear up all the extra space and start moving our turrets on back home to prep for the next push. There we go. All right. That's one done. That's an emitter. There's no emitter along this path. So I think I might actually go for that as our next push. Essentially, the idea being if there's no emitter, we just need to push down it. We don't need to set up a defensive positioning. That should be good. And in fact, we're going to reassign this bomber over here. We'll sign two bombers even. Go ahead and take all that out. And actually, if there's nothing being emitted, if we're bombing running it, is there even a need for us to push down that path? Not really. I might start swapping to pipe launch just to give it some more range. like a little urn forge. That's, that's great. That's fucking, yeah, we're about to have everything upgraded. I wonder if I can tell a bomber to crave a urn? Damn. All right, that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting potential. Honestly, I might have pushed these way too aggressively. Yeah, that's even a spore launcher. It's not actually an emitter, so I don't know if it can threaten my turrets. We want a nullifier, we want a sniper, and we want missile defense. If we get all of that set up, we don't we don't need anything over here. Huh. Honestly, aggressively easier than the last one we were we were pushing down. Alright. Huzzah for warfare. I guess if I go to take out the blob nest, then we don't need snipers defending us anymore, technically. So yeah, maybe we'll we'll set that as our next. Take that out then. Go for some quicker tower builds. Make use of some of this overlap tower range. Hell yeah. Nullify the blob nest, then that's a whole defensive styled structure, sniper towers that we just don't need. Launcher. 
where was that mortar? Here's the mortar. We'll have him move over here to start cleaning some of this out. We set up our turrets up on the rim. Should be able to shoot down, then we can nullify this. Hey, blob nest down. No longer in desperate need for snipers. Same time we're doing all that. Let's start moving powers this way then. All right, bombers are fucking crazy, I think, is the takeaway at this stage. Is that always build bombers, bombers are insane. I think that just has to be what's happening. Their rate of clear is so fucking good. Uh, basically under no threat just by having two bombers assigned to each location. Just enough. Okay, are we not powering things over here? Luckily, I think it's just the sniper, which was the one type of building we didn't need to. Oh, we still have it nullified over here. Huh. Never punished. Never punished. <laughs> oh, shit. turret down here just to guard that tower. Now that we have a little bit of room, we can set up the nullifier. Here. Lift egg should set that up. We can put the mortar on the high ground. That should be able to hit pretty much everything. Got that. Got that. That. Oh, all totems. Oh, yeah? Clear in so we can push our turrets up a smidge. Yeah, I need to check my bomb runs. Alright, I can go there. Yeah, we have a bomber telling us to shoot here for some reason. Uh, there's a spore there, so we'll keep the bomber rolling. on everything. Alright, that all looks good. Start pulling 
units out of there. We can set up the nullifier on the high ground. That should take out whatever's in there. Set up the position. Set up more towers. Oh, shit. Yay, we got the info. Let's hear it. The hierarchy has conducted a new review of ancient texts recovered from precursors. It is now clear the precursors had knowledge of the Creeper prior to its arrival in their time. This knowledge was passed down to them from earlier galactic civilizations. They demonstrated prior knowledge based on prophets, they claimed, originated from the first generation of humanity. These prophets came from the supposed ancestral origin, worlds of humans. They left their imprint on numerous civilizations in their travels, which were apparently motivated by a desire to recover a lost comrade. I do not see how this affects our current work. We face annihilation. Our researchers provide fairy tales for ammunition. I shall continue our current work to identify any weakness possible in the Creeper. Oh no, I think I'm beginning to understand where or when I am. Shit! We in time travel? Uh -huh. Okay, we're pushing up, pushing up, because we just need to nullify now, right? Over here to nullify, doesn't look like it. Nullified, nullified, nullified. So we need to nullify this. And this. Okay. So just one more tower, one more nullifier, and then we should basically have this knocked out. One of the bomber options is anti creep. Oh! Auto launch, return to base, anti creep. Can you place a crack. Can I place a craft? Or like, can I set a runway to anti-creep? There's nothing on the runway. Maybe it's later on, because I'm definitely just not seeing it now. this one. I would just fucking throw it out there and let it go. Oh, I could rip chop. Nah, we, we've almost fucking done it, you know. We'll just, we'll just let it all finish, you know? Might as well. They've earned it. They've earned death. You know you can play- I know, but I was already doing it, and normally I feel like it's better to build the towers since it also comes with energy production. I did do a pylon route on one of them, but pylons take like three times as long to build. They don't produce energy. Like, look, if I had done this distance in pylons, I would still have two more pylons, I think, before we'd be at the nullifier. Here, they're just so quick. And it's just like, ugh. It gives me energy as well. I don't know, it just feels better. None of these are good reasons. It's just where I'm at. All right, let's fucking nullify it. Then we can move on to our third planet. I know, I know, I'm ridiculous. 
like I said, look at look at the title. Look at the title of the stream, Little Pink, and you'll understand what's going on here. We're not doing this efficiently or the way we should be. This is Meat Wave Tactics, remember? I'm the guy who's just like, fuck it. Let's see if we can just push directly better. All right, so we're moving on to someplace sometime. So I gotta get the snip of some place, some time. Layer to new layer. We'll just move you here. We'll we'll do the cleanup later. No need to make chat fucking sit through that. All right. What if remembering the past changed it? Ooh. Alternate timeline. Let's go. What? Mother, remain away. Attempt sacrifice subsystem to help mother. Integrating ADA subroutine. Require complete ceremonial archive. Alas, incomplete am I as yet. Must complete before mother can restore. Praise be the founders. Skimmer sighted. Threat minimal. Annoyance level notable. Defend against stunning of skimmers with snipers. Mission priority, nullification, all of the priorities suspended. Skimmers. Now what's next? I better not ask. So what do we, we have walls? All right, we have info. This looks like breeder terrain. It looks like it might also breed anti-creeper. Try to expose it to some anti -creeper. Oh. So we can breed anti creeper. For that, we would need blue essence, right? Or the, the blue stuff. There's no mines. If there's no mines, then. Or wait, what is this? Just is blue white. Interesting. So we have walls, we have blue white skimmers, we have this info over here. Hmm. We have an emitter here. This seems like our safest spawn location. They'll time delay the creeper release. Oh. Still, we need the blue. I think I'm going to need to know what this info is for this level. And the only way we could get that is if we got blue. I don't know, do I try to rush null? Do I place here try to rush out to nullifiers? No, okay. We're gonna go for a safe location. This seems like our safest option. We'll have blue white coming in right away. Let's establish what our starting energy will be. Okay, with that, we'll also want to get a refinery and a factory out pretty quick. We don't have red, so we don't have missile defense. Yeah, rush for that info. There's red over here. Ooh. Yeah, I think I was supposed to build over here, maybe? If I build on this high ground... Relatively easy to get to blue-white, get to green, get to red as well. Still, it's not hard to get to the red. Certainly a bit of a hop, skip, and a jump, though. Okay, so we do that. Get a refinery. Get a factory. All right, and because this is like free energy over here, we'll we'll get all that set up. We'll do a cheeky little blue light right there. Quick thing: the bridge has only creep in range. The mortar will only target the bridge. Okay. All right, one pause. Let's see what happens. We'll see what this info is. Because they've got something called skimmers. We're gonna want to get a sniper, and we obviously want missiles out. 
Obviously, we won't be able to use the missiles until we get red. Hold on to the red. I'm going to want to defend these. Oh, and to defend the red. Need missile and sniper on it as well. We've got all these upgrades we can go for at some point, but we'll we'll put that down the line. We just need to establish our defaults first. And this is a pretty this is a pretty deep request. We're already starting off with. It. All right, we'll see if we can build this all. Yeah, ambitious opening. I got nothing else. Install and execute archives 40 through 42. The rest of Preacher. Complete now I am. Full memory of events past and to come. Family must unite. Praise be the founders. Maybe you can fix ADA now that he's complete and perhaps I can put together a plan for what to do. Oh, is it? Cool, thanks, buddy. Hmm. I'm noting a problem here. We're gonna give up on that blue-white, I think. Bit of an energy deficit, obviously, but you know how it is. Maybe I get rid of the refinery. Do I need liftic? Yeah. All right. We're going to cancel the refinery for now. Divert energy away from that. That's not at all important. Getting a couple defensive turrets for our main connector, though, is because we do need red in order to have missile defense at all. We definitely need missile defense. Um, We'll need the snipers both for the spore launcher and for skimmers. What did we lose? Oh, yeah, just the towers ever getting us the info. Ooh. That might be the mistake, though. Because I didn't get anything to defend this bridge. We've got these turrets. We could look at bringing them back. We have the mortar, which is going to buy us time. We're going to lose this blue eye, but we have this blue eye. And we don't need to rush out um, anti creep yet. Okay, how we doing? Doing all right. Okay. Gonna start using some of the ground we do have for energy. Only way for it to get here is to push through here, so if we're gonna lose those turrets anyway, we'll be losing other shit. So we're gonna go ahead for this, and I think we're gonna go ahead and ask them um, to get the turf out. We can use this to make better mining, better energy production, better, better, better. It's eventually going to break through, break through, and then start coming this way. But that does mean we have a lot of time to build out energy production here. And with maybe just some towers and mortars, hold one of these bridges, essentially. Ooh, but I have to do snipers and missile defense to hold all the way out there. We'll queue it up, see how it works, see how it holds. How are you two doing? You're doing good, but we're going to get to you a couple of friends. We're going to establish real defensive positions here. Well, with getting all that, that does mean we'll need to get the urn up and running. We can build it back here. Cool. Mortar's firing. We will want cannons, though, to actually hold the ground. And we're getting blueite without energy production. So we are just going to be building up blueite. So I guess might as well prep sprayers to deploy somewhere at some point. All right, what are we gonna start? I think we're gonna start with energy production, then we'll go to mining. Defense has all seen good. Energy production, mine production, fire rate. What do we lose? Uh, looks like the walls. Okay. Hopefully you'll be up in time to protect this tower. Fire range. Build speed. Oh, we'll just take them all then if we can. Okay, push you over to there. 
I gotta remember my northern farm fields. Yeah, they're still growing. Okay, sniper. Sniper. Missile defense. Missile defense. And then we can look out to here. And we're gonna do a quick pause just because I have a big old field to build. A nice big land of farming for us. There we go. Our land of milk and honey. Huge tracts of land. That one burned down, fell over, and then sank into the swamp. But the fourth one stayed up. And in order to get all of this safe, we'll need a sniper. And missile defense two turrets and one mortar ah, that should all get built relatively quickly right okay we've got our sprayers starting to come online so let's start deploying them and you know wherever sort of locations And then we can establish our second, or just basically reconnect to the blue over here. Uh, you put over here, reestablish that. Uh, the mortars here, gonna fire, yep. Okay, we're built up. That's established. This ground is held. This is all within safety measures. Our huge tracts of land are slowly coming in line. We have a sniper missile here. Uh, this is moving a little slower than I would like. We have a turret up on the high ground. So if we can cut here, we actually just save all this land. We'll still need like snipers and missile launchers, obviously, but. That should cut off basically the supply from ever getting over to this, so that is very good. A set sprayers to always emit. Collect as ore. AC pole field? Always on. What does all of this mean? something. I heard a boom. Well, yeah, I figured it was always on, but... Collect as four. AC pole field mate that's going to take in anti-creep? Oh, so it'll recollect the anti-creep like uh, new ammo. So, all right, so we got our little guy right here, right? So always on. So you just start spraying, or? Oh, yeah, that's starting to bubble, ain't it? Well, let's start 
having a bit of fun time here and seeing if we can truly liberate everything. I might have gone mad. I, you telling me that I can actually set these things to always on might send me into madness now as I'm now going to start acting like the creeper as I'm just going to be seeking infinite expansion at this stage. And that does not seem good or healthy for me. Ah, yes. The flood begins. Oh, goddamn, that is burning through blue light. Eh, there you go. Alright, so now that we're here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring up a sniper and missile launcher. I don't think we truly need. Yeah, we got them pretty close, but still wanna start bringing things up, essentially. get to it anymore because of this spawn getting cut off. So I think we have it fully contained to this side. Can I build weights? I forgot about bombers. All right. I think it's time to, uh, who can play it this game? Amazing. Alright, so we're gonna fill that. We're gonna send energy out here. We're prepping the bombers. Everything's slowly getting flooded with anti creep We have our position established. We're gonna push another tower, but I'm really thinking I'm gonna hold out till I can get bombers set up before I really do a push, you know? Especially because you mentioned there might be a way to have them do anti creep but yeah, it really doesn't look like I have that option quite yet. So where do we bomb? We have an emitter here. Are these emitters? Those are skimmers. So we want to set our bombers to basically just fucking destroy, yeah, stash and the two emitters. Bomber. 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 Let that flow for a second. I think there was also one bomber on this side. Yeah, this one. We'll just have you go fucking hit the back. Hit it for fun. Ooh, did we get stunned? Yeah, we did. All right. Pull y'all back. Is that not in sniper range? I thought they said snipers could defend us from that. Build another sniper just in case. Okay, how are our bombers doing? And see, it seems to be establishing. Hey, yo. Oh, fuck. Take it out from the farms. Gotta make alternate connection routes. There we go. Now we got some connection redundancy out here. Good, good. That should keep us well supplied, at least. Now, do I push the sniper forward, maybe? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll push the sniper forward since it has the. Yeah, so let's actually more so look at drawing a line with our snipers. 
We will leave the missile defense for a while. We'll try to draw a line with our snipers and things from penetrating through. There we go. The skimmers fall once they're shot. Oh, so we really want our snipers pushed the hell up to prevent them from. Okay, yeah, I see now the pooling there from the skimmers. Okay. Understood. Then we want to take this territory, set up snipers along it so we can't get past anymore. Skimmers keep going after they are shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, little thing. Connection. Right, we'll let that start filling up that area with anti creep. Any bombers remaining? Nah, they do refuel, but we seem to be doing well there. We can now set up our nullifier. Take out one structure. Pretty good, so we'll move our snipers forward again. Hopefully we can keep pushing through, turn off this emitter, get this last sniper push up onto high ground. Let us just draw a straight line of defense to keep everything back here permanently safe. Establishing some backline energy farms. Redundant connection. That should be the final push over here to establish our line. Sniper line 
fully across the front. There we go. Do not pass line. Oh, wait, we got a creeper spawn line here, I didn't notice. By the way, nullifiers can be stunned. Ooh. Okay, but if we set up a sniper line to defend it, we shouldn't be able to get stunned, right? But I'll keep that in mind for any forward positions. So we'll make sure we move that sniper in front of us. Got it. Emitter down, sniper line established, our back line is now safe. Bring the sprayer up for that lane. Bring that boy up. We also had a mortar I left back here. Push that up. God, we just burned through the blue eye. That's, that's fucking amazing. All right, you know what, that ain't this boy. We've got enough built up here. Uh, you have also filled your quota. We're gonna redirect our blue shit. I like you here. I like the idea of this overfilling. That's too funny to me, so we'll keep that going. Keep one in base, but not two. There we go. That should redirect our uh, anti creeper a little better. Alright, time to establish a new front line. Bombers. New attack points. Try to aim at cutting things off now, I suppose. Spread it around this whole level. And just keep this back, which will let us push into here relatively easily. the high ground, and one nullifier, if we are aggressive enough, should be able to take all of this. Oh, fuck. Didn't have enough backup to be aggressive. Pull one of these turrets up. We do want one. Yeah, we'll leave this one and the mortar to defend to pull everything else up. Tricky grab. Oh, wait. Objective. Can I get... Oh, I got the reclaim. Damn. Alright. Yeah, we seize the territory, I guess. Aww. Fuck! Yeah, fair enough. Alright. can actually rush this. I, I bet this is probably two baldy trying to hit two for one here. We'll make the attempt. We'll make the attempt. Okay. Phil. Oh, down to one armor. Just need the ammo. Oh wait, and I'll need snipers then push forward to prevent it from being stunned. Oh, we might lose one of the... We lost one turret! Hell yeah. Alright, with that set up, we're gonna make sure we have a missile defense. And I'm actually just built two snipers. We can't lose this. Start expanding the energy network. Make sure we have a redundant connection so nothing will just one drop us. Okay. So looking good. Bring the mortar up. A 
A little more aggression with our turrets just to make sure we establish this line. And if we can hit this emitter, then we've got them pretty well and truly neutered, I think. So let's go ahead and see if we can go immediately into another nullifier. A little riskier on this one. So now we have bombers fucking hitting. Yeah, this whole area looks like it's gotten pretty well cleared. I'm gonna redirect the other bombers over to this, like, cross section. We'll have one bomber keep hitting. Bring the mortar up. Is there another mortar I have? I oh, got a second mortar. Did it get destroyed, maybe? And we'll build a, a line of, like, three mortars that we can use. Line of three turrets as well to fill things out. Bring up a sprayer. A, hey, it's in base. Oh, yep. Yes, it is. All right, though, we are set. Push up and. Double sniper line to keep all this defended, and we are fucking good. So this bomber, I guess we'll have to hit that spawn zone? Yeah, the bombers have this getting pushed back. Fuck yeah. Done in connection, it's beautiful. We can get now to push these emitters up. to get just a little bit of anti-creep onto the yellow, right? Is what they were saying? But we can get just a smidge of anti-creep there. And it sounds like... Or is this just dead? Do I just have them basically dead already? Because I'm just looking at, like, what's happening. I think I might have the uh, creeper dead. I think I took all, all the emitters. All they have are skimmers. Right now, it's not looking like those skimmers are really able to do much. Weapon, do I nullify this? No, I don't nullify the stash. That just grows. Okay. We'll get mortar set up. Damn. Put the sprayer directly on the yellow. All right, one sec. Get a little bit cleared. Set up a pylon to maybe support it a bit better. Set that up. Our snipers forward. No, as they're moving is the exact moment I voted like get taken out by skimmers. Okay, where's our other emitter? Over here. We will push all this forward. Nah, all our skimmers or all our snipers are now established. So no skimmers are getting out. I think we have it. Oh, yeah, you are not kidding. Oh, shit. All right. 
right, we seem to have it contained then. Let's just establish everything. Oh uh, yeah, bombers just fucking fill fill the land with doom. There is not but death here. Perfect. Oh, something got stunned. Fair enough. Well then, that yellow surface is fucking great to play with. All right, we got to look out for breeder territory. Oh, gross. Ugh. Oh, did I never? Oh, right. I delayed my refinery because I was trying to force out defenses. Oops. <laughs> I never built a fucking refinery. Oh shit! All right, Lithic's gonna Lithic's gonna take an extra minute, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Give, give me a second here. <laughs> One second. <laughs> we got we got to do some rapid production. Okay. Oh, that, that, yep, there we go. There's the refinery. All right, that's... <laughs> uh, yep, here it comes. All right, we, we've got it. We got it coming in. Gosh. Uh, if they're going to keep stunning shit, we're just infinite towers. Just... Doesn't matter. Can't stun everything. There we go. Stuns are AoE? Yeah. A little. But I still have 27 other towers ready to go. See, they could either stun this connection, this connection, this connection, or this connection. They're not going to get hit all of them. Oh, well, I got... Okay, fine. I see what you're saying. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold up. One second. No, no, we're not... We've, we've got one side objective I, I didn't do. Hold on. Please, I'll be embarrassed. I'll be embarrassed if I don't do this side objective. Just, just one sec. One minute, please. I just... Just let me just. There we go. Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Don't worry, little pink. I'm just barely ahead of you. Let's see your ammo's at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think this will hit all three. No, oh, my luck. I may miss this one somehow. I did. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, wow. Hmm. Can I? I just want to see. I just want to see if, like, if this is something that could be terraformed. Like, could I open a path? Anywhere? There's all this just, like, disconnect. Like, I can't affect this. You know, so I can't reconnect shit. Damn. Oh, well. Because that'd be fun. That'd be fun if you could open new connections for uh, anti-creep to pour over. And we could just permanently cleanse the land, you know? Can anti-creep affect... Well, well, we'll not move one that's infinite spawn. Can we affect the stash with it? I know we have everything. I just want to do a quick check. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't imagine, because this is marked as an enemy, that we can affect the patch, but...
We'll wait till it covers everything. Yep, no, can't affect the staff. All right, hey, buddy. Hey, is that milk? You are just in time for us to have completed our third Fuck mission of the you. day. How are y'all doing? Hey, milk, hello, raiders. How was y'all's day? How are all y'all doing? Hold on, I gotta take a snip of this. Ugh. All right. Zoom out one. Edoras, hey. We missed you, Edoras. How you doing? I'm gonna take a snip of that. Send that over here to a new layer. Beautiful. But unfortunately, that is actually where I was going to call it for today. We are, oof, absolutely devastating on time. Though I don't mind hanging out and chatting with y'all for 10 minutes or so. Still, I think it's probably all we've got going for today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a bit of a raid now. Here's your uh, Twitch. Let's see who's live. We've got some really good targets, but there was something I wanted to do today. Half a bottle of socket deep. Watch red versus green. Played pseudo regalia. And encountered my inab inability to play... Metroidvania games, unfortunately. Hey, a hops game is about 10 minutes. Listen, I haven't even had dinner yet, Milk. I'm sorry, I gotta I gotta get food in me. But there is something I wanted to try. Let's see here. Affiliate push. So there's something I was noticing a bit on uh, some Twitch stuff, both on Twitter and on Reddit, where there are tubas out there that are doing like affiliate pushes or affiliate grinds and i just wanted to give them like a secure average number sort of a thing so chat if you would be willing found one haha -ha! if y'all would be willing to join for this raid we're gonna send you all off to somebody who is doing their own affiliate grind right now oh cringe they're playing genshin still still i am kind i'm a kind and generous tardigrade I would appreciate y'all coming, and if you're willing to just leave your computer on and go do other shit to give them basically permanent high enough average viewer count for the rest of the month, I would personally greatly appreciate that. Milk was desperate to prove the Red Green Show does in fact exist. I'm glad we faked that footage for you, Milk. Don't worry. Alright, y'all. Here is our raid message. Let's see your tardy grade raid. And I would appreciate, like I said, all y'all coming along, leaving the message here. Here's our raid message. And showing a bit of support for somebody who's trying to make that big affiliate push. Remember, there is only a couple of months until TwitchCon. And anybody who gets affiliate before then gets a fun little affiliate marker on their name tag if they end up going. So I'm probably going to be hunting down people who are doing affiliate or partner pushes for the next couple of months for our raids. I hope you'll support me on that little mission. But that's all the time we have for today. I want to wish you all a great evening, a great night, a great rest of your weekends. We will be streaming tomorrow back to Grounded, doing a nice long Saturday stream so I can practice combat and actually get into the hedge lab. With that, I think it's time for us to raid in five, four, three, two, let's go girls. <laughs>